Guys, in the next few minutes, I'm gonna share with you the knowledge and wisdom it's going to require to find the single biggest, baddest cash buyers in your marketplace, and we're gonna pull them directly from our competition's buyers list. Now, could you imagine there's a big competitor in your marketplace in a big city with 100,000 people on their buyers list? Are they, are they selling 100,000 houses a year? No, just to a few people. What if we found out all those people that they're selling their deals to, so we don't need 99,900 something buyers on our list, but just a few core key good ones that are gonna buy all our deals and pay 10 to 20 grand more for those deals than the other buyers in the marketplace. I'm gonna show you how to do this right now, okay? The first step into finding the biggest, baddest cash buyers in your marketplace is get on every single one of your competitors' buyers list so you can track the deals that they're sending out. Step one. Get on Google, meetup groups, Craigslist, social media, just ask around. Who's the biggest wholesaler in the marketplace? That's the biggest, or that's the first one you want to get on their list. You wanna find the biggest companies first and start working backwards, guys, because here's what you're gonna see. These individuals have spent a lot of money and time over the past five, 10, 15 years building a substantial database of cash buyers in the marketplace. You don't have to do that. You just have to find the best buyers from their list. And the first step, like we talked about, is get on their list. Second step is, you yourself or using a virtual assistant can track these deals as they come through. So let's say this is ABC Realty or ABC Investment Company and they're sending out wholesale deal after wholesale deal. As that deal is sent out using a CRM or an Excel with a virtual assistant tracking these, when they come in, you track the address, the owner of record, and the date, okay? Here's why. So the reason why you want the owner of record is because let's say it's a company, ABC Investment, sending out a wholesale deal. When you pull up that wholesale deal on the MLS or in the tax records, you're gonna see an owner of record. Let's say this is John Smith. This is the current owner of the property that that investor is trying to wholesale. Now, you wanna get on all the buyers list as possible and track all these, and then six weeks later, step three, have your virtual assistant or yourself go back in to check that property address to see if the owner record has changed. So let's say it was John Smith, and now it's Titan Investment Properties, or John Smith number two, or Susie Sally, or whatever it is, the name has changed. What does that mean? That means that this property that was sent out through a wholesale company's buyers list to the buyers list has now been sold, and the new name is the new owner of record. So that is the cash buyer that you wanna contact, right? Now you can do this in a number of different ways. You can look up the contact by skip tracing, social media, and even now, guys, let's say their company is, you know, Excalibur, investment properties, right? You should be able to pull that name up right off Google in your marketplace. Google is getting to be almost uh, a small, or uh, what's, the, what's the best way to say it? They're almost a skip tracing company now. You can find lots of leads for free just Google searching, especially if that company's trying to be found. If they're out there marketing their brand, you should find their brand very, very easily. So that's it, guys. Very, very quick, easy process. Track all the deals coming out by your competition, get on their buyers list to do so, track the deals they sent out by address, the owner's name, and the date, Six weeks later, you go back, because why, why do we wait six weeks? This, is given to, this gives enough time for that new cash buyer to buy the property, as well as for that information to update in the county records. Now that you have the new owner record, that's the cash buyer, that is the number one cash buyer off those big buyers list because they're willing to pay more than 100,000 people, because if there's 100,000 people that saw that flyer, and that's the person that bought it, they pay more than a lot of people, right? That's a good cash buyer. So now you find them, now you track them down, now you contact them and say, hey, I see you're buying cash, buy, cash I see you're paying cash for houses in my marketplace. I, say, I have the same type of deals. Would you like to be on my buyer's list? Of course, they're gonna say yes, because it's a job requirement for them. And now you're building a buyer's list of quality cash buyers without spending very much money, not mailing some cash buyer's list. Guys, you don't need to do all this crap that these idiot fake gurus are teaching you. Do it the real way, do it the right way, and this is how you do it. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And when you do, hit that yellow notification symbol. That's gonna let you know when future videos come out because if we're filming videos like this and you think these are good, wait till you hear or wait till you see the future videos we're putting out. It's gonna really impact your business. I'll see you here in a few days, guys.